Welcome to the homework for lesson six. This is module four of grade three. Please write your name first. Now we're going to say that each one of these represents one square centimeter. If you measure with a ruler, you'll be able to see right if you can't already tell it's they aren't really square centimeters, but we're going to say that they represent one square centimeter. So that's what we're going to call them. Uh, it says draw to find the number of rows and columns in each array and match it to its completed array then fill in the blanks all right so we have to finish these use a ruler to do this i'm going to use one to finish the rows and columns if you don't you'll never get straight lines it's just going to look really really goofy and you really should be practicing using a ruler to draw straight lines now you can count them And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to label the side lengths. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six by six. The next one down here, I'm going to zoom in. Show that I'm just going to put a ruler and finish this line here. And use a ruler to finish these lines where they have a missing gap in the middle and I can see I have sides of three and one two three four five six seven eight that's three by eight finish this one And finish these lines and then I can finish this top row there and this is three by one three four five this is a three by six and Finish this one here and this row here, and then finish these column lines. And you don't need a ruler. If you don't have a ruler for a straight edge, you can use uh, you can use an an envelope or a birthday card at the edge of uh, a cardboard box. I mean, or a, a, the spine of a magazine. There's a lot of things you could use for a straight edge besides a ruler if you just can't find one. All you need is something that has an edge that's straight that you can run your pencil along to keep it a straight line. All right, now these are one, two, three, four, five. That's five, and this is one, two, three, four, five, five by five. This one is two by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is two by eight. And the last one I'm going to finish that column and a few rows here. There. That one's a three by four. And now I can zoom back out. Okay, so draw to find the number of rows and columns in each array. So we drew that and I labeled all the rows and columns. And then we're going to match it to its completed array. And then we'll fill in the blanks for the equations. So we've got to look at the whole page at once for this. 
so it's going to get kind of tiny but probably you can see how this matches up this is a, those are both three by four uh, this one is one two three four one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. So that matches with the one on the, the first one. This three by eight matches with that three by eight down there. This three by six matches with that three by six here. The five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep there and then this two by eight goes with that one there and now we can just zoom in on the now that they're all matched up we can look at this one here goes with this equation and this is three centimeters by six centimeters and three times six is 18 square centimeters you can count the squares if you don't know what three times six is or you can just skip count six 12 18 and do it like that and even when you're skip counting of course if you don't know what the next number in the sequence is you can just use repeated addition in your head to try and add your way up to the next number uh, this next one is a 5 by 5, so it's 5 times 5 equals 25. You can count those by 5s. This is a 2 rows of 8, which is 16. This one here is 4 rows of 3, which is 12 square centimeters. And this one here is six rows of six, which is 36 square centimeters. And this one is three rows of eight, which is 24 square centimeters. Min, skip counts by sixes to find the total square units in the rectangle below. She says there are 36 square units. Is she correct? So she skip counts by sixes. Well, what do we have here? We know that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. If this side is six, then this side has to be six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. If this side is six, this side also has to be six because it's a rectangle. Uh, so we know that 6 times 6 equals 36 and it says here that she skip counts by sixes so we could just write down the sequence 6 12 18 24 30 36 the tub in Paige's bathroom covers the tile floor as shown below how many square tiles are on the floor, including the tiles under the tub? So what if there was a grid? I mean, you really, if you could, you could draw, you know, use a ruler and finish these squares and then count all the squares. You could do that and just count the squares. But really, you don't have to do that. You can just count the sides, right? We need one, two three four five six seven eight nine so this side is nine and you can see how many so that side is nine this side is nine and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if this side is ten this side also has to have ten so each row has ten nine rows of ten is ninety there are 90 square tiles on the floor now either multiplying the side lengths or skip counting by tens 
uh, to 9. You could, you could just write that down, 10, 20, 30, 40, until you get to 90, like that. Uh, that those are the, really the ways to do this one. Um, if you use a ruler and draw in all the lines and count 90 squares, you can do it that way. Uh, it's not very efficient to do it that way, and it's a lot more work. And uh, there's a chance by the time you get to 90 that you're going to lose count, or you'll count one wrong, or you'll get interrupted in the middle of it and have to start over, and it's just a pain to count that that many so it's better to get in the habit of multiplying or skip counting there. number four Frank sees a book on top of his chessboard how many squares are covered by the book explain your answer so there's a lot of different ways you could do this you could figure out the total number of squares that should be on the chessboard and subtract the ones that you see or we could just figure out the area of this missing piece how many squares are covered by the book uh, we have one two three four five six in each row and we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five rows of six. Five times six, which equals 30. 30 squares are covered. by the book and just like the other one you could use a ruler and draw in draw in the uh, the unfinished grid even though you can't see this end down here you can't see uh, how many there are but you could just extend these lines these vertical lines you could just extend them and you could figure out the grid that way you really you could you could count them and there's only 30 of them, but still, you know, you've got, you're counting, you know, columns of five. You can count them by five. So that's pretty easy to skip count. 